was actually in New York, uh, New York in Will Barnett's studio the, the, at the exact moment the, tr uh, the towers were being hit. And my wife and I were delivering paintings to uh, one other artist, and then we were gonna go down uh, Lexington Avenue, which uh, dead ends at uh, Gramercy Park. And while we're going down about uh, uh, nine o'clock or so in the morning, um, uh, a lot of the businesses really hadn't opened up yet. Uh, but we kept in hearing all these sirens and they couldn't uh, figure out what was going on. I said, well, there's sure a lot of sirens going on. And in the distance, you could see down the cavern of Lexington Avenue and, and all of a sudden there's this big black cloud. And uh, we were driving our, ga our gallery van uh, to deliver paintings to Will Burnett, and I wasn't going to pick up any on that on that particular trip. I was just dropping off some to him, and uh, <clears throat> I, uh, I had my sunglasses. On. It, was a, it was a beautiful sunny day, and I and uh, my uh, my wife Barbara said, uh, "You know, that's no cloud. That's smoke." And I thought for a minute. I said, "Well, how could smoke be up that high? It has to be a really tall building to produce that kind of black smoke that high up." So as we came upon stoplights, uh, and our windows were down in the van because it was a cool morning, I, we heard people screaming on their cell phones. I mean, I mean, very animated and said, something's going on here. So, uh, so we, um, we quickly turned on the radio and of course we heard that one of the towers had been hit by an airplane. Well, we just assumed like everybody else, it was a terrible accident. So we continued on, we got down to Will Barnett's studio and there was a parking space, which there really is never a parking space in front of the National Arts Club building, but we found a parking space right in front. I went up with the paintings, and Will Barnett, uh, 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 well, Elena let me in, and, Elena, and Will is glued to the TV set. And he, and he says, Bill, you gotta come over and see this. And so we're, I'm standing there watching this uh, unfold, and just as we're talking about it, um, and saying how terrible it is, that's when the second plane hit. And at that moment, I, there was no accident. It was obviously no accident. So I said, well, I gotta get out of here. So I, I quickly went downstairs and, and Barb said to me, oh, we got a great parking space. I, th I think the second tower has been hit. I think there's a really a problem here. And so I, I said, we gotta get out of town. And we were supposed to be in the Hamptons later that day. So. Uh, I, I wanted to get out of town as quickly as I could. And, and, and Barb said, no, we've got a great parking space here. She said, no, I'm gonna get out of town. So all the while I'm driving up to the Queens Midtown Tunnel, I'm, I'm thinking, what if the Empire State Building is the third building that's gonna get hit? And we're not that far away from it. So I, I just went to, and I, I got to the tunnel so quickly that there were already police in front of the entrance of the tunnel. And they, and they looked us up and down and, 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 had Florida and, plates too. and I had Florida plates. And so I, you know, white unmarked van, but Florida plates, they, you know, they, they, but they looked us over very carefully and they let us go through. When we got up to the other side, we got up on the Long Island Expressway and my wife said, uh, let's pull over. There's nobody going out. There's nobody on the road. The other way coming into town was a 10 mile backup of traffic on this elevated highway. I mean, it was unbelievable to see this. And everybody was out of their cars. The whole, all of Brooklyn was, was everybody was on rooftops looking back, she just pull over. And I, I kind of looked around to see that uh, you could see just a, a mass of smoke. And you couldn't, you couldn't really tell that the towers were even there. But they hadn't come down yet. But uh, we hightailed it out of there. I know you and the rest of the family were. We were trying were, to call you. You were trying to call us, and of course, cell phone, cell, cell phone, phone towers are on top of the World Trade Center, yeah, so they, so they couldn't get through. We didn't get through until we got to Riverhead, um, uh, and uh, out near the Hamptons, and and then our cell phone finally uh, worked. But uh, what a day to go through, and I, I, I feel so badly for all the lives that were lost on that day. And I will never forget that. But, but I was with Will Barnett on that, on uh, Elena Barnett on that morning, that fateful morning.